Here we have the reaction sodium hydroxide plus aluminum gives us this aluminum hydroxide and then solid sodium metal. Let's start out by adding up the atoms on each side of the equation. On the reactant side, I have Na, I have one of those, oxygen, I have one oxygen, then I have the one hydrogen, and then aluminum, I have one of those. On the product side, I have Na, one of those, oxygen, I have three times the one. So oxygen, I have three times one, that'll give me three, and then hydrogens, I also have three times the one. I have three of those, and aluminum, I have one. So the only thing that's not balanced are these oxygens and hydrogens over here on the reactant side. If I wanted to have three oxygens or three hydrogens, I need to put a three as my coefficient in front of the NaOH. So now I have hydrogens one times three, that'll give me three, oxygen one times three, that gives me three, and then sodium one times the three. I have three of those. So at this point, the only thing that's not balanced are these sodium atoms. I have three on the reactants and then one on the product. If I put a three in front of this sodium, one times three, that would give me three. And now everything is equal on both sides of the equation and this equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaOH plus Al yields AlOH3 plus Na. Thanks for watching.